Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the concerning news that King Charles has been diagnosed with some kind of cancer, according to Buckingham Palace. A statement from the palace says, During the king's recent hospital procedure for benign prostate enlargement, a separate issue of concern was noted. Subsequent diagnostic tests have identified a form of cancer. His Majesty has today commenced a schedule of regular treatments, during which time he has been advised by doctors to postpone public-facing duties. Throughout this period, His Majesty will continue to undertake state business and official paperwork as usual. The king is grateful to his medical team for their swift intervention, which has made possible thanks to his recent hospital procedure. He remains fully positive about his treatment and looks forward to returning to full public duty as soon as possible. His Majesty has chosen to share his diagnosis to prevent the speculation and in the hope it may assist public understanding for all those around the world who are affected by cancer. Well, from the Royal Rose House and all the rogues, we wish His Majesty a full and speedy recovery. It is also not hard to imagine that uh, these are tough times for Prince William. Catherine is still recovering from her surgery at home, and he has to stop all royal engagements to, so he can take care of the children. Then the king needed a couple days for a surgery that went well, thank God, but now this. Now, don't get me wrong with what I'm going to say, but it seems that it was a good thing that King Charles needed that surgery since it was because of that they discovered his cancer, hopefully at an early stage. And I'm pretty sure it's an early stage. But I think now more than ever, the royal family needs our support. And I mean all the royal family. Yes, I, I know that you can have your favorites, but maybe this is the time to unite. But uh, not you, Harry. Precisely not you this time or ever. Prince Harry will travel to the UK to see King Charles amid his father's cancer diagnosis. I, I don't think I need to remind you that there was zero official statement from Harry or Archwell or Meghan uh, regarding the King getting surgery and much less about Catherine. So, what changed now? Is he coming to check if he's still in the will? Because, okay, we are not going to speculate about King Charles' health, but what we can speculate about is what the Montecito morons are going to do about this. And not in a, not in a good way, because the very first thing they did was to brief the media, telling everyone that Harry was going there. I got this anonymous uh, comment that makes a lot of sense. That goes to say that not only is there concern for reducing risk of infection, but the patient may also simply be too exhausted or weakened for treatment to be doing public duties. And the point that is getting to is the counselors of the state is now critical. And Harry and Meghan might be jumping as they realize this could be a lengthy period when King Charles doesn't carry out public duties and they want prominence as Harry as the counselor of the state. Will we see the spectacle of Harry and Andrew both knocking on Charles' front and back doors at the same time in the rush to be first counselor of the state? And speaking of Prince Andrew, in other Bizarre news. I didn't know that Netflix wasn't making a movie about the Prince Andrew interview. And, well, for the life of me, I can't imagine what is the plot. Are they going to show Andrew not sweating in not tramps? Because that was the first thing that I thought. And, well, Rufus Sewell as Prince Andrew, whoa, uh, at least that was my first reaction. I, I mean, the makeup is okay, I guess. The expression is spot on, in my humble opinion. Ruff, he, he's a, a hugely underrated actor. I always remember him from Dark City. 
The good thing is that Andrew has a lot of signature mannerisms, uh, the way he talks with a bit of heavy breathing, how he interrupts himself at times. So Rufus will have a lot to play with the character. Uh, by the way, this is just a random, petty complaint. But I'm sure this is one of the reasons Rufus seems so odd inside the Prince Andrew character. The original Newsnight interview had this warm tone that you can see on the image on the left. But how to say this? I want to think that this is some kind of preview or that the color grading is not finished because the image on the right looks artificial. And it's because of the wrong color grading and the overuse of teal and orange, a color scheme that was all the rage in the 2010s, but now it's passé. But an image is worth a thousand words, so I decided to make a slight adjustment to the scene with Rufus to match the color grading of the original, and well, it changes dramatically. I'd say that Rufus looks more like Andrew with this version. Well, uh, to, to end tonight's show with a laugh, I want to mention this letter that someone sent to Richard Eden. Dear Mr. Eden, I am writing this letter to you to tell you how much I detest you. And it was so funny reading that, but I think I know whose handwriting is that. But I'm just going to leave you guessing as to who is the author of such a delicate message. But, at least we know it is not Megan because, you know, she's got exquisite calligraphy. But Harry must be really salty due to the fact that Michelle Obama's book, The Light We Carry, won a Grammy for Best Audiobook, Narration and Storytelling Recording. H how strange, because I, I thought that Harry's spare had broken all the records ever, not to mention that Oprah and Gail King were enjoying their time at the Grammys, and how could they leave the Duchess of Sausages alone? A aren't they friends? But, my royal rogues, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue, and remember to download my free 100 model language tips right in the description of this video. Much love and bliss.